Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. It is Saturday and I hope you are enjoying your beautiful Saturday. It is super warm where I am, I'm sweating, it is what it is guys, so enjoy it. Go outside, do whatever you have to do, because today probably we will announce no new player at Juventus. But that doesn't mean we don't have fresh and really great news, especially about two players, like Tuto, Por Tuto Sporty saying Di Maria Che, Di Maria is here, where? We will try to answer that question but also Gazzetta speaking about another player Juve Vitamina K Vitamin K what does that mean they are speaking about Koulibaly why are they speaking about the Vitamin K we'll try to understand it as well because I went on Google doing some researches so put a maximum of likes subscribe to the channel especially if you are interested in that controversy between Romeo Agresti and Mary Demiral that was really crazy yesterday on Twitter maximum of likes subscribe to the channel we start after the intro Before deep diving in all the Italian papers and understanding what they are saying about our beloved Juventus, uh, before speaking about Koulibaly, Di Maria, Mary Demiral, I want to remember that unfortunately, one year ago, our ex big president, presidentissimo, the president of all presidents, Giampiero Boniperti passed away. And one year ago, one of the biggest legends on the field when he was a Juve player, but also as a president. Eh, I want to remember two quotes that he said. The first one was, vincere non è importante, è l'unica cosa che conta. Winning is not important, is the only thing that matters. But then another one that is actually making me feel the same, the same as Boniperti when he was saying La Juve non è soltanto la squadra del mio cuore, è il mio cuore Juventus is not only the team of my heart, it is my heart Mamma mia, today I am a poet, today, today I am in a romantic mood But now we have to speak about Mercato, especially with Tutto Sport Di Maria c'è, Di Maria is here The winger is stopping his holiday and is coming back in Europe Pay attention, we have to deep dive in that news But also Gazzetta dello Sport, we sing Assalto, assault on Koulibaly, Juve Vitamina K. What does that mean? So I went on Google, I went to the definition page to understand what it is, Vitamin K. I will try to read it in a really beautiful voice. So Vitamin K refers to a group of fat soluble vitamins that play a role in blood clotting, bone metabolism and regulating blood calcium levels. The body needs Vitamin K to produce prot rhombin, a protein and clotting factor that is important in blood clotting and bone metabolism. Guys, I have no idea what that means. The only thing that I remember from everything I just read was the body needs vitamin K. Juventus needs vitamin K. Juventus needs Koulibaly. Let's go back on Koulibaly in a second, but first of all, I want to go in the controversy of yesterday, Demiral versus Agresti. Three days ago, Agresti wrote on Twitter, confirmed Atalanta have decided they will not redeem Mary Demiral. Juventus are working to find a new club for the Turkish defender. The tweet has been deleted when a few minutes or a day, a day ago, probably one day ago, when Romeo Agresti, he said, confirmed Atalanta have taken the buy option to sign Demiral for Juventus. Things have changed. Why? Because Di Marzio, Fabrizio Romano, Romeo Agresti, all the big journalists and Mercato experts were saying that Atalanta would not have uh, taken an activated die buy option. They did at the end. Things have changed. Mary Demiral, after the confirmation, he went under the tweet of Romeo Agresti, posting a screenshot of the original tweet. Also, with this tweet has been deleted. Annoying a bit, Romeo Agresti. Really annoying, especially if we all knew that uh, Atalanta was playing with Juventus. They wanted to decrease the amount that they agreed on 21 million euro. At the end, Juventus didn't give up. Atalanta, they paid what they had to give to Juventus, but we know it, especially if we go into the last game of Atalanta of the season, with Demiral on Instagram, with an Atalanta flag saying goodbye to all the Atalanta fans, saying thank you to all the fans of Atalanta, I will never forget the incredible support you gave me. Guys, pay attention, pay attention, because it's easy to go back on Mercato 
expert and actually try to break their career. I don't like that, but that doesn't mean that we have to continue in that controversy because we have other things to speak about. A bit the same thing, Demiral will go to Atalanta, they will probably buy, uh, sell him, yes or no, we don't know, but Torino, they didn't activate the buy option for Mandragora, Juventus want at least 10.5 million at the moment, Torino is not reaching that proposal, so Mandragora is at the moment probably a Juve player, he will probably find a new team or Torino with lower money or Udinese or whatever. And speaking about Koulibaly now, La Juve vuole la coppia Koulibaly con De Ligt. Juventus wants the duo Koulibaly with De Ligt. The 20 million that we are winning from Demiral can help a lot. This is about Gazzetta dello Sport. If we are going on one football, one football is saying that Juventus, they could use that money, but also on top of that, offer Gatti Federico that never played in Serie A, but is a Juventus player that can't wait to wear the black and white. Apparently, uh, it's reported by Italian Football News that they want to insert Gatti. We have a third possibility with the money of Demiral. It's that Demiral's money will be used for costage. One thing is sure as we know since this mercato Juventus is not leaking any information it is really in difficult for football expert for us on the YouTube channels to explain you what's happening in Juventus mind because every everyone is speaking about other things we go on Di Maria because Koulibaly is a target of Juve. We know that will he become a Juve player? We will have to wait. We will have to see. I don't know if De Laurentiis will give up easily. We have to be patient. But it is a really important target of Juve. This one is sure. On the other hand, Di Maria, he stops his holiday. He's now in Paris to do what? Is he there to move the stuff himself in boxes from uh, Paris where he was living to another place? Absolutely no, Di Maria will not do that. He will probably hire some people that are moving, a movement uh, company. But he's there to take finally a decision. At the moment, Juventus offered him the best possible contract. One year with 7 million euro for one year with an option that he can activate or not. Pay attention, Juventus has the advantage on Barcelona, on Benfica, on the other teams that are interested by Di Maria. We have to say one thing, Di Maria has always been really consequent because he said a few weeks ago, I will first go on holiday, I will speak with my family and together with my, with my family we will take a decision. Is it the moment that we will understand the decision of Di Maria, yes or no? Let's see in a few days because apparently Juventus is waiting for the end answer of Di Maria end of the weekend so tomorrow or beginning of the week next Monday or Monday in two days. Corriere dello Sport is speaking about countdown for Lukaku and it made me a bit laugh because everyone is using the countdowns Inter, Milan, Roma, uh, Napoli, every single team. Why? Because Mercato is super super slow and difficult. Maybe because it's maybe because it's too warm I don't know. Milan they are saying Origi will arrive this is a certainty but at at the moment there are some problems for all the other names so don't say it's only Juventus that is not moving that is not using the Mercato is crazy it's all the other teams now let's go in all the players what are they doing all the players during the holiday we see that Matthias Soule he went to Germany not because Germany that he wanted to go there on holiday no to sign his professional contract with Adidas from now on Matthias Soule is an Adidas player just to tell you the trust of Adidas giving his in contract like they did with the young Paul Pogba. Zagnolo is in Italy. He has holidays with uh, Federico Chiesa. Beautiful to see them smiling. Will, they, will we see them smiling in Bianconero soon? We will have to see that. We saw uh, Matthias De Ligt with Anneke. I will not speak about it. Just show you what they are doing. Mercato is crazy tonight. La 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 la. Mercato is crazy. Hey, it looks like they are enjoying the Mercato is crazy song. Hey, Mercato is crazy, I told you. It will be in every single disco of the world really soon. So prepare yourself. We have Denis Zakaria next to Weston McKenney. They are in US. They were at the avant première of uh, Pogmentary because we also see here Zakaria and Pogba together. There is also another player. I have no idea who he is. And he forgot his shirt. It is what it is. And then the final news of the day is Paris Saint-Germain. I told you that there was a fight 
with the president of Paris Saint-Germain, Leonardo. They were actually harassing the referees and everyone when they lost versus Real Madrid. We knew that the, there will be a judgment, they will go on court. The decision has been taken. Uh, the president of Paris Saint-Germain was actually not guilty, not shown guilty. Who is guilty? It's Leonardo because he's not anymore at the club. It is what it is, guys. Uh, eh. I, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that the president of Paris Saint-Germain, the best friend of Severin, has not been found guilty. Strange. Strange. UEFA is strange. This was the last news for me. I hope you enjoyed the video also on Saturday, that you are not too much disgusted by me sweating in front of the camera. What I will do now is I will ask my wife what she wants to do for the rest of the day. We'll maybe see going outside. Maybe not. Let's see what will happen with Juve. Grazie, forza. Juve.